smallest jump with just the initial height increase is maybe one and a half times his actual height. Maybe twice, I guess it's twice. Um, just missed. Oh, no, he kind of, he takes tremendous effort, though, to only go to block. I'm sure the smallest possible thing is to get a frame out to it. Gravity to something in the step of it. And let's just try it and figure it out. So, V speed minus equals 20. What V speed does is it, it's your vertical speed basically. Uh, Game Maker specifically handles, handles speed and direction for you a lot of the time. Um, so, there's a speed variable which you can change, there's a direction variable which you can change, and then there are V speed and H speed which do like vector component things for you automatically. Um, which is kind of nice. Um, so let's add the step event, which will do gravity. So speed. So let's just do normal, not accounting for the linear drop off at the moment. Um, say, I believe I believe the speed follows the same as the the same negativity as the. Um, well, maybe that's not true. Same negativity as Game Maker's uh, Y direction, which is downwards. Um, it goes from the top left corner of the screen, um, which is for various odd and slightly confusing reasons. Um, so each frame, V speed plus equals one. So at the beginning, when you press the jump button, it will, you know, fire you upwards, and you will. Uh, then start accelerating downwards. Um, and there was a little bit of that pushing, right? You could continue pushing yourself up in the air. So let's add... Uh, well actually, let's do this. Let's have the step, let's have the gravity. B minus equals 2. And then add event. Just trying to think about, think about how this works, whether that'll be... Good. We will see, we will see. So let's do a keyboard. Letters, W, and this is continuous. So press event only happens the first time you press the thing. So that's at the very beginning of the jump. We want to do V speed minus equals 20. Um, and actually, I'll probably just do equals minus 20, but minus equals 20. Um, so it'll be start. It'll start at zero. You'll subtract 20. By the way, minus equals you can sort of remove a value from a number. Like V speed equals negative 20 is different from V speed minus equals 20. V speed minus equals 20 essentially translates to V speed equals V speed minus 20. Um, anyways, this is WT. Let us. Yeah, so it's if you're interested in programming, then that's a programming thing. If you're not, then whatever. So uh, V speed minus equals 1. So now we have on this every frame V speed plus equals 2. Uh, oh, and F, F equals. I'm an amazing programmer. Um, that's how that works. Uh, let's see what that looks like. But in the meantime, uh, okay, make a room. And have a row, which doesn't actually have a sprite yet, so let's do a sprite. That'll be important. So uh, let's see what this looks like. So it's going to do gravity anyways. Oh, and that is what we want. So it's off screen. So this is what our jumping does. So we're currently falling through the air and double jumping. Or in, you know, jumping. Let's make a floor. Um, so I've done floors a number of ways. Most of them um, get more and more convoluted, but uh, hopefully I can do it not in a terrible way this time. 
object blur. Um, so we can do this one of two ways. We can either put it in Mario or in the floor. Um, I think I tend to put it in Mario so that I can and, and blah blah blah. But let's add a collision with the floor. And we only want the floor to do one thing right now, so let's start out by just saying, you know, when you collide with the floor, um, these things are 32 tall, so when the player collides with the floor, we'll just say uh, other.x, which we're, uh, um, no, sorry, this.x. So that we're doing this in the player, right? So we want uh, x, no, geez, y, you genius, um, equals other.y. Alt order, alt order dot y, uh, minus 32. And what that will do is that when there's a collision between Maro and our obfleur, um, then it will place the Mario, place Maro, um, 32 pixels above, which is above itself, above the other words. Um, you'll see what it does. But yeah, so this, this y is Maro's y. We're doing this inside Maro. So Y just references itself. Other happens whenever you do a collision. Um, so the the other thing is referenced here, and dot Y, um, like when you you can this is sort of the name of the object, and the way you reference that object Y is by doing other dot Y. So then minus thirty two. So you can do that. Um, and let's see. I don't think. I don't know if they all need to be. They all need. To be. We'll see. Oh, I know what the problem is. We'll see what the problem is. And there's a problem with this code, and it's that. Now, what happened? The speed is still increasing each time. If I gotta bring it back here. So, actually, let's run this into bug mode. That's it. And look at watch add uh, ob morrow dot vsky. Currently increasing. We reset the game. It starts out, but still increases even when it's standing on top of the block. Um, which means that eventually the, the speed will be enough for it to skip over the block entirely. So let's fix that. Four. Speed equals zero. Have it handled. So now when we run it, we'll see that yeah, zero. So this is what our what our jump looks like. So when I just tap it, it seems to be moving pretty dang quick. So let's give ourselves some reference. There's four blocks, so remember, so Mario could jump could jump at max, at min, about one and a half times his own height, and at max, have four blocks off the ground. So let's see how we can jump next. So at min, just tapping, we're going three, so that's far too many. And holding, going like six or something. That's not what we want. Um, we want to have a shorter, yeah, and we can still, we still have the ability to double, triple, medieval jump. Um, let's fix all of that. And so, so part of this is going to be number balancing, right? Um, we will want to change the amount of initial velocity, obviously, because it goes way too high. And possibly we'll see how, how much he can affect the gravity. So... Let's see, when you press the W key, let's do 10 instead of 20. Um, but a lot of sort of game design things is tweaking these numbers and knocking your mic over, so excuse the noise. Okay, we're good. Now let's see how much that works. Okay, so now he only jumps a little bit. Um, and he doesn't jump very high at all, so that's the max height. That's the min height. That's obviously not enough. So we want some we want to go there. Let's try fifteen. Split the difference. No, we will 
hopefully by the end of this have a relatively solid little platform around it. Okay, so that's definitely a good min height. That's almost exactly what we wanted. Now, max height is just a little bit not enough. And the the dropping definitely seems... I can still resist dropping. So, so let's see how we can fix that. Um, I would fix that, of course. Of course. Um, the relationship between the gravity and the initial jump seems to be pretty solid. So let's just change what happens here. Um, and what's nice about this is that you can have... What? Oh. Unlock 25. Thank you. Um, did I just turn on insert? Delete, whatever. Okay, good. Uh, let's see how that works. Ding, ding. Okay, min height still there. A little bit higher. And max height is too high. Just like the length. So, let's that a little bit more. Three. No, I once heard the, uh, the leader of the, or whatever, director, guy. Uh, there's 1.5. There's about 4. Just a little over. How, like, when you're a game designer, you don't, or game design guy, sort of, doing game balancing and things, you will walk into the room one day and tell your team, okay, this number needs to be 7.5. One two, not seven point one three, not seven point one one, because I tested it. So we seem to have supposedly the right kind of jump. That's just a little bit higher than four.